Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of Seven Days to Die. Death, death style. Is there anything in here? Some parts. And some iron. Not too bad. Um, yeah. We've been doing our do. We've been doing pretty well, I'd say. Oh, start recording and the cats all want... They all want. Uh, yeah, things have been going well. We got our junk turret last episode. That's been great. Uh, the painful realization that it requires uh, lead instead of metal makes that difficult for us to acquire any real amount of the resource that I need for ammunition. So what might end up happening for today is we might go back to Trader Hugh and the west side. And see if they can does us up an auger or a pick or something. Um, I think I'd like to do my traveling earlier in the day. So like around that 4 o'clock we'll spend the time going west. Then coming back east. And then seeing what we see about that. Um, everything else here looks pretty good. Uh, the last thing I ended up on for our conversation piece was either doing another level of robotics inventor for an additional 10% more damage for our robotic turrets, or it was going to be a level of mother load, which was 20% more from ore. Now the word is ore. Ore as a word in definition means impure uh, metals, or how, how would I say it? Impure mineral bundles found in like dirt so you have to refine the ore to make it usable right so if you have iron ore there's iron in it but there's also dirt and stone and other crap you don't want so you have to refine it to make it what you want so we get iron and then we have to make it forged iron so that forged iron is much more pure iron right so when it says ore i'm assuming that means anything we're going to mine that comes from the ground lead or iron or i'm guessing that's what it is even though if we look at our inventory this just says iron not iron ore so i'm kind of thinking this from like a factorial perspective right you mine iron ore you then turn into iron plate so a productivity benefit of any ore mining that's kind of that's kind of the logic i'm going for so we're gonna we're gonna pick this up 20 percent seems like a pretty good deal uh, i'm hoping to find a pick because i can't make a pick um, I don't have enough stuff. P-I-C-K spells pick. Um, I can't make a steel one because I actually need a workbench for that. Oh, I need steel tool parts as well. Um, I have leather, I have duct tape, I have wood. I don't know how much forged iron I have. And there might be some more in our secret secret stash. So we're just going to have to be a little patient about that. Um, it's 1am right now. Uh, I think we've got a pretty well balanced character. We've done a lot of our scavenging and crap early on. Things are things are pretty good. Things are pretty good. Uh, how are we on ammunition? Uh, around 300. Which isn't bad. That'll last us a day 7. Um, I don't want to jump the gun too soon and leave like now-ish. What the hell's going on over there? Uh, oh, it's the blinds flickering. It doesn't look like anything right now, but if I shut that off, yeah, see how it's, oh, it's the light reflecting off the thing. Okay. Good deal. Um, oh, I want to get the radiator. Yeah, I want to do some more work here. So yoink, yoink, yoink. Uh, let's not be stupid about this. I was just about to jump. My jumping ability has been bad, and that's not necessarily a fault of the game. Um, <laughs> coming from, like, video games like Super Mario Brothers and Mega Man and stuff like that, jumping is a bit of a precise science. Um, if you understand how to do a jump properly, question mark? Like, I'm not trying to be, like, all snobby about it, but, like, there are certain things you can kind of get away with if you perform a jump successfully one one really good example is like Mega Man 3 where sliding was introduced 
you can kind of cheese a little bit of the jump if you slide and then jump out of the slide. You can get a little bit of work done with something like that. And you can be a little more... Uh, I'll just keep using the word precise, because I guess that's what I'm aiming for. But if, you, if you're careful about it... What is this dropping? Clay soil, I don't care. What is this dropping? Stone and more clay soil, I don't care. Um, that's going to be paper. Yeah, there's nothing here. I was hoping for more cobblestones. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, jumping is a little more of a precision thing with the 2D platformers, which is where I really learned how to do platforming, albeit poorly. I'm no good at it. Like, this isn't a, I'm better than blah, 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 blah. Uh, not at all. Blaster Master had some fairly, fairly precise platforming. I wouldn't say, like, to the letter, but, like, the Sophia the Third tank is a little bit funny to use with it. So anyway, coming to, like, a 3D game like this, um, where your character model is... Well, I don't see my feet, right? So I'm, I'm doing a little bit of guesswork. So it can be a little difficult. Especially for an old wiener like myself. Um, so yeah, let's talk turkey. Uh, we're going to go from here. We're going to head over to the west. We're going to talk to Trader Hugh. This is the last shop that I'm aware of that has refreshed in the time we've been playing. I really could have sworn I saw a pickaxe somewhere, so it must be the Trader Hugh in the south. But I'm not going to go all the way to the south again. That's, that's fine. This is still a pretty, pretty big distance. So at 3 o'clock, we're going to get on the bike. Head over there, see what he's got. Hoping for a nice pickaxe. And then we'll do a little bit of mining. I wouldn't mind like 500 rounds of robotic ammunition. Uh, by the time it's 6.05 there and the shop opens, we'll make it back here. We'll spend the day here. I'm hoping to get to level 3 on the quest line. Yeah, we're just going to go. Hoping to get to level 3 on the quest line. That would be pretty cool. That's a deer. I don't need meat. You live another day. How about that? Aren't I a generous bloke? Uh, can I open up my map? Um, is this the right one? Nope. Is this the right one? That is the right one. Okay, cool. We'll be able to outrun any feral zombie on our bicycle. We just need to be a little careful in terms of stamina use and how we, you know, when when we're boosting through stuff. Ooh, and also it'd be really cool if I could genuinely see what the hell I'm doing. Yep, that was a zombie. Nope, it was a mailbox. That's a zombie. Nope, that's a stop sign. You are wet. It's just raining non-stop here? What's going on? It's been dry in the States, so a little bit of rain is a nice nice welcome. Yeah, we're spending this time to cover as much territory as possible with the stamina that we have. That's the important bit, I think. I don't see anyone chasing me, so that's good. If we happen to run into a lead mine, it would be really cool to pin, 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 there. To point, to point that out. There we are. Words are hard, man. I see a zombie here. We're going to do a little bit of a test. They should be full feral mode right now, which I should be able to outrun them. I'm not holding shift. I can outrun anyone with base speed, which is perfect. What is this? Oh, it's another military base. Military bases freak me out for reasons I think I've already expressed. I will express them again, because I like to talk. Big surprise. Uh, landmines. Landmines are a thing. Now, there are certain skills that you can delay when a landmine goes off. The problem is, you, you'll hear an audible click. Which means the landmines are pressure sensitive. The thing of it is, is it might be human reaction to pick your foot up off of the thing that just clicked. 
The thing is, you kind of seal your deal because that's when it goes off. When it detects the pressure release because you've you've activated the trigger mechanism, right? Um, so the kind of thing is like you've got to apply equal pressure while removing your foot, blah blah blah. Uh, I don't, the, the crux of this conversation is this is a no audio run. I don't have the audible click. There's no nothing I can do about none of that. So that's kind of scary. That's another deer. That's another deer. Nice. Now, other games such as Minecraft do a really good job for hearing, I'll just say hearing impaired individuals. Uh, they include like a captions, which is really cool because you can actually see what is happening with the captions. It'll say groans from zombie or skeleton archer took damage or something like that. I'm just going to keep on the bicycle until four o'clock. Okay, I don't see anybody, so I think we're in good shapes. We're in all kinds of good shapes. Uh, move items to loot container. We're full up on shotgun ammunition and rifle ammunition. Oh, we have a lot of meat. Oh my god. Where's the forged iron? Damn it, I need a lot more forged iron than that. We have a lot of 9 mil ammo. I'll take the 9 mil and I'll put away the 776. Is it 7? Oh, 762. I'm not like a gun guy. Like, I'm good for memorizing stuff, so... Like, if there's words being tossed about, sure, I can remember the words, but, like, when it comes to, like, oh, yeah, calibers and... uh, rifles and stuff, I have no idea. I have no clue. <laughs> got a good amount of water, we got a good amount of steel... Right, oh, that's right, we have a backup bicycle on top of that. Um, I already have a bunker buster in this, so we're gonna sell that, sell that, sell, nope, sell the flashlight. I want to store this second battery. Did I not store the first battery? I don't want cement. We're not gonna get that high in the tech tree for that to be a thing. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, we do have the second battery, and we do have more ammunition. We have a ton of crap. I do want the wire cutters. I did not want the cement. Son of a gun. Uh, nope. We're selling that. Thank you. Uh, grave digger. We're selling that. We're selling this. I have antibiotics. I'm going to keep on me. I don't want that. What else can I stash easily? Yeah, stash all the ammunition. I don't, I don't need clay either. If we need clay, we'll go get the clay. A farm plot block is nice. Oh, you know what we haven't seen in ages? We haven't seen an airdrop. I don't think I'm going to need eggs for anything. Oh, we could do bacon bacon meal. Is there anything else in here that's 100% superfluous? Maybe this. Maybe we can call this superfluous. What is the recipes? Arrows, 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 puffer coat. Superfluous. Actually, can that sell for money? Yes, it can. Awesome. Uh, better idea yet. Cool. Um, anything else at all I want to ditch? I haven't used the bedroll yet. I don't plan on using a bedroll until I have a base. The pipe shotgun I could sell. That means I'm putting away military armor parts, which I can't use. I'm going to sell the wheels. We did get a bicycle. We have two bicycles. That's good. Uh, cloth fragments. We have 250 cloth fragments and 124 cloth fragments. That's enough cloth. I don't need to carry that ever again anymore. Amen. I think we're doing pretty well. 13 repair kits. I want to keep the repair kits on me. You can have the meat. Got two stews and some meat. I'm going to hang on to this meat, I think. 
I need anything else at all I can stash. I don't need this much ammunition. Famous last words. Oh, I do. No, I need the lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ammo. 115 rounds. Awesome. That makes me feel a lot better about a lot of things. Okay, nothing else to ditch? I don't need this many first aid kits, do I? I've got enough first aid and medical supplies for a small village. Which is great, but I don't need it. Um, I think we're good. I have so much brass. Oh my god. It's a good, it's a good feeling. Okay, we're gonna take this. What are your recipes? Boiled eggs, bacon and eggs. That's not bad. And we got a lot of raw meat too. Blueberry pie, pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin pie. That can just stash in there for a while. Okay. Is there anything else in the bike I need desperately? No, there isn't. So the meat goes in there. Uh, I'm going to keep the fort bites on me. I'm going to need that hammer for sure, for sure. But I think we're doing pretty, we're doing pretty swell. Is this refreshed? No. Okay. Alright, we're going to park right here. I am looking for a pickaxe or an auger. Would be pretty amazing. Oh, I didn't pick up my turret. Ha <laughs> ha! They used to stick out a lot more, I thought. Oh, there is a drop. Hey! Where that at? Southeast. Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe, M maybe, maybe. That's a heck of a drive on a day 14. That's a heck of a drive on a day 14. I don't know how interested I am in that. Uh, I have stuff to sell you, my friend. You can just keep those. Okay. Pickaxe. Oh, you got a robotic sledge. Nice. Not interested, but still, still good to see some variety. Iron pickaxe level 3 for 3k. That's not terrible. This is block damage of 53. Oh yeah, that's totes worth it. Or you have forged iron for me to buy, and I'll just make my own. That would be ideal. Um, Forged steel... Steel is not iron, which is unfortunate for this conversation. I'm gonna buy one more antibiotic. <gasps> Forged iron. Yoink. No, I this it's not enough. I'm very sure it's not enough, but I don't care. Oh, you're selling SMG auto turrets. Well, I might just buy turrets then if that's gonna be the gimmick, and I won't even make my own. I like homemade homemade self-defense stuff though. There's a there's a certain allure to be able to put the Megacycle Entertainment brand on a turret that I've made, right? It's kind of neat. Homegrown turrets. I will buy your well, I'm about to buy a pickaxe, so maybe not. I saw a pickaxe in here. Yes, I did. Bye. Awesome. Okay, you. Modify. Uh, give me both of those. Cool. Bicycles out there. Don't want that. Um, good. Great. Gravy. Awesome. Okay, for day 14, we're doing alright. I'm gonna jump off... Jump off? Jump off? D-R-U-M-P? I'm gonna jump off... Whatever. Words are hard. I don't care. 
Uh, we're going to do that. Yeah, 47. I was nowhere close. What we're going to do is we're going to go for that drop. It's a bit of a trek. Uh, it'll help us explore the map a bunch, first of all. Second of all, hopefully it's going to be littered with books. I don't have pipes anymore, sad. I can't repair this item. We'll be able to hit up a bunch of cars. We'll be able to hopefully find a lead thing. That would be cool. A lead a lead mine, and we can just wail on that for a bit. I thought I already hit a bunch of these cars, but we've spent so much time in the second town, I actually don't remember the layout of the first town. Um, yeah, I if you... Let's see. I know where the medical encampment is. I know where big buns are at. Lol. <laughs> okay, I did already raid this. Been cool over here. The hoarder's house. Okay. Uh, I'm not interested in brass anymore. We have a stack and a half of brass. To which I don't think does anything other than... Um, what am I thinking of? Uh, bullet casings. I should check that real quick before I really am like poo-poo to it. The McKean residence? I'm just gonna... nope. I'm just gonna squiddly boot my way past this. It should be a clear shot. I don't think there's any more town over here to be had. Uh, we'll get a little bit ahead of these Zeds, and then I'll check brass casings, or brass in general. Do I have brass on me, by the way? I don't. B-R-A-S-S? -S. I, I still don't like that, that I can't look it up and be like, what is this used for? Oh wait, I'm not going to tell you because you don't have any on your person to figure it out. I think that's dumb. I think one extra little tab... Or whatever would clear up a lot of confusion in terms of like new players trying to be like, well, this is a what do I do with bones? And as a slightly more seasoned player, I can tell you, you boil the bones to get glue, and then glue can be used for uh, glue on a bandage to make duct tape, and then duct tape to make blah 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 blah. But it's it's a little a little disorienting for new players. I feel that is iron which I don't need. That is coal, which I don't need. I thought I saw... I thought I saw some friggin' lead. That's coal or stone. That's coal. That's iron. That's coal, I think. We're looking for a cube. A small cube. Is that? I can't tell what that is. It's not lead. That's what that is. I, I, I can tell you what it's not, and it's not what I want. Kind of keeping some wide vision here. If somebody runs in front of me, I'm definitely going to hit them. This place. Hyper Volume 3, that's what it is. Uh, we got to be getting pretty close. Yep, we are, we are close. So we'll hit this up, we'll grab the goods, we'll go back to Trader Wrecked. We'll cash in our quest, we'll do... Another quest if we can? Ooh. Uh, that's potassium nitrate. That's not what I want. Potassium nitrate is necessary for some ammunitions? That looks like lead. This is lead. I'm getting two ammo per swipe about? That's not bad. Okay, 60, 60 lead just for that one bit bought me 20 shells. That's not terrible. Oh, speaking of... Hi. I was just about to put my turret down. 
Alright, I'm gonna help you with ammunition. Why don't you help me protecting my butt? Oh, uh, coffee? Thanks. We also have our cooking going on near Trader Wrecked at the Old Mally's Oats or whatever. Oh yeah, this feels quite a bit faster. Okay, we'll give that a hot minute. I didn't level up, did I? No. How far away did we come? Oh, actually, we're very close to the other traitor hue. So maybe that's a really good excuse for us to double-check anything? I don't... I don't think there's anything he had that I cared about. So we're not gonna bother. Yeah, awesome. Uh, 500 more lead. Getting about six, five or six lead per hit. Which I don't know what we were doing before, but I think we're getting some good work. Okay, this is stone already. Okay, that was fast. I thought I thought the main was going to go down a little farther, but I guess not. Uh, how much ammo can I procure now? 208. Okay, we're looking a lot better than I thought we were going to look. Ammunition-wise, I didn't realize I stashed nearly as much lead as I did, so that was smart. That was really smart. I will... I will laugh forever if there's a motorcycle in this crate. There isn't. I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle get dropped aside from a bicycle. I don't think it's even in the loot table, but damn, that would be funny. I'm expecting a bunch of books and maybe some provisions. Books would be nice. Grilled meat. Oh, a Crippleum mod. Nice. Modify. Crippleum. 20% chance to cripple a leg in a bipedal target. Awesome. Very worth it. Mods are great even if they don't do what you want them to do. Meaning, like, if, if we found the Bandolier... For example, and we equipped it on a turret. I don't know if you can, um, but the benefit is you still get a bunch of extra damage. Do southern farming, do rifle world, do shotgun weekly. We got some grilled meat. We got some stuff to sell. Four script mod, weapon flashlight mod. Oh, uh, you can't have two slots. Yes, you can. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, improves handling and accuracy and firing weapons from the hip or while moving. That's going to be really important for a rifle. Ah! Okay, oh god. Okay. Reading. Reading is terrible. Reading is the new threat. <laughs> um, okay, there's that, there's that. Drink a thing. Um, I think that was very much worth our time. Absolutely. Now, just so I can sell some crap, yes, this is the right heading for Trader Hue. We'll also be going through the desert. I don't think I give a crap about yucca juice or yucca... F There's a lot of potassium nitrate, wow. Or, uh, yeah, I don't care about yucca fruit, cactuses. I don't think I care about any of that. Yucca fruit and yucca juice used to be top tier, I thought. There's oil shale. I thought it used to be some top tier stuff. If you could get your hands on some yucca, you're doing all right, like beverage wise. But I think it might have been nerfed. I don't. I don't remember any of the values. Bunch of vultures. I'll take two repair kits. Awesome. I should repair this bicycle eventually as well. But I'm just bebopping down here just to sell some crap, I guess. Yeah, I'm definitely going to repair this bicycle. It's looking in pretty bad shape. 
Okay, is it as simple as that? 100%, nice, okay. Uh, itchy, itchy nose, there we go, okay, all better. Hello, friend. Just for sanity's sake, you were selling the peg axe. Okay, I do, okay, I don't, I'm not going crazy. Um, sell, 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 sell. So, um, I thought I kept more 9 mil ammo on me, but I guess not. Um, I don't think there's anything you had, unless you're selling a ton of... I don't need a fire axe. We've gotten so much wood just from... Ugh. We've gotten so much wood just from scavenging about. A motorcycle chassis is only 360. Interesting. Uh, I should check if I can make a motorcycle. This kind of seems like where I was last season, where I was like, I could buy the parts to the truck. Motocycle. Two wheels, which I've already sold. Chassis, handlebars, engine, battery. Excuse me for the squeaky chair. It is a squeaky chair. Um, I think I'm fine with... I thought I saw you. I think I'm fine with purchasing it wholesale rather than attempting to make it myself. Because it's kind of back to where it was last season when I was really tempted to buy the parts. The thing is, like, if I invest the money in the parts, and then I determine I don't want the parts, and I sell the parts because I want to just buy the truck because I can't find all the parts, the issue is I'm not selling it back at a one-to-one -one ratio, right? If the parts were 15,000 monies to bu bunny, you are playing a dangerous game. If the parts were 15,000 monies to buy, I'm probably selling them back for much less. I don't know the math, but like significantly less value. So what really happens is I'm wasting a lot of effort, energy, time, materials, blah, blah, blah. And not making a firm decision on whether or not I want to buy the accessories, the wheels, the oil, the gas, or if I just buy it as is, right? That's kind of the deal. I did see one or two lead spots. But I'm not I'm not as hurting for lead as I was earlier. Um what else? I guess let's talk about our plan for day seven. What does day seven actually look like? Well I'm not at a point where I'm willing to build a base yet. I think maybe day 20 is probably when we're going to build our base and actually have, like, proper storage and stuff. Um, probably just camp out on top of a building. The heck? I dropped this stuff ages ago. What the heck? Huh. Well, whatever. Uh, that can be un whatever -ed. I could have sworn I dropped that stuff ages ago. I thought dropped items despawned pretty quickly. Or maybe the real rule is nowadays is it's if there's no value to it. Oh, that's still the corpse. I was going to run it over because I thought it was sleeping. Um, If it has no value to it, it despawns. But like that, we just passed a corpse that has no value. Like you can knife the body and maybe you'll get something, but I don't think so animals and stuff seem to stick around a little bit longer for reason you can get useful components out of it an armor pocket mod skip yes crafting skill bundle thank you very kindly boink oh workbench cobblestone i don't care cloth armor bonus bundle i don't care 5,000 dukes or farming. The workbench is alluring, but the dukes more so. Is your inventory? I'm very much looking to build our mobile base. Pipe pistol quality level 3. Oh, special jobs. Opening trade routes. 1.3 kilometers northeast. We will worry about that later. I don't want to go and be in a new town and be like, hey, what's up? We're not doing buried supplies. We will do fetch. Let's get one thing 
I wonder if we'll see POIs more than once. I don't think we've seen the same POI happen. Shotgun auto turret, nice. I don't really have a strong method to produce power yet. You don't buy something next time, I'll shoot you. We have, I think, two engines, two batteries. I don't think I have a generator bank. Pick up our water. Yeah, this is this is my big gripe. That water stacks to ten. One, two, four, which I think is unreasonable. So yeah, for the servers I host, I set that to like twenty-five or something. And modding modding is literally just an XML file. That you overwrite the whatever. So I how did how did it work? I did this like years ago now. But it's basically another deer. <laughs> it's basically, uh, you just specify what you want to overwrite, and you can overwrite it in such a way that it's uh, broad. So you can say all ammo, or all drink, or all whatever. You can do it that way, or you can say the item specifically called out. So just to be safe, uh, how did I do it? I think what I did is I called, I, I did it like a group, like all drinks, and then I overrode it again with the specific drinks. Um, just in case, like, they add new drinks, I was covered, but also, I don't, I don't remember how I did it. Holy crap. Uh, this seems a little familiar. Forge steel, hot damn. Okay. Nothing else. Nothing else. You're protecting me. Thank you. I don't need this item at this time. Where's the wrench? Thank you. Um, I should be able to get some forged iron out of this. Forged iron now not being as significant considering I just bought the pickaxe, but it would still be nice to know if I can get forged. I can't get any forged anything out of it. Okay, that's fine. Dude, breach and clear, am I right? Holy crap, that was flawless execution. I don't get to pat my back on this game very often, but sometimes... Sometimes I do alright. Come on, there we go. Nothing. We're about to reset the POI when we start the quest, so I'm not super gonna cry if I miss some items. I didn't mind to do a bit of a... A bit of a looky-loo, though. Just going room to room, just clear him, clear him. Missed. I missed again. I didn't miss that time. Totally biffed him, holy crap. Nothing, nothing, hole. Oh, g g okay, 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 okay. You deserve, you deserve that hit. You, you definitely, you definitely deserve that one. Holy crap, tell your friends I screwed up. Oh wait, you can't, cause you're dead. <laughs> I got him in the head. <laughs> uh, I'll take all that. That actually allows me to repair something. Oh, I think I already sold it. Okay, doesn't matter. I don't want cornmeal. I'll sell that, thanks. Or scrap it or whatever. Two bones, I don't care. Ooh, that was fun. Okay, I think we've been in a similar POI before. Because this kind of feels familiar. Okay, I thought I saw something. Um, I don't need cloth at all. 
I should rephrase that. I don't need to stash or store cloth. I should probably have some cloth on me. I'm under the impression that cloth is fairly plentiful, so I'm not super worried about it. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Now we go upstairs. Dang it, I wasn't fast enough. I wasted so many power strikes. Just gonna repair this up on the quick fast, and we're gonna reinforce it with metal, even though we're not using metal to reinforce it. Good stuff. That'll give me a hot second to worry about whatever I wanna worry about over here. Okay. I don't know who's still alive in this pile. I don't think I hit him. Now I did. Cool. Fake floor. Okay, that must be the other house that is similar. Uh, has a fake floor right in front of the loot room. Oh yeah, it was a pipe. Take all that. Here are the pipes. Scrap that. Shotgun Messiah and crack a book. Read, read, grab. We grab. This is the loot room, we're calling it? Yeah, we're, we're calling it. I can't go down there. Again, painkillers. It's painkillers and it's steroids. This place is just littered with both items. It's incredible. I haven't seen a lick of citrus anywhere. There's a zombie in here. Definitely. Nothing else, good stuff. I don't think I'm super interested in digging through all this Wow, okay, I was just gonna say, I don't think I'm super interested in digging through all this trash, but you find a radiator and some friggin' headlights and all kinds of good crap. Anything else of repute? That's not a pig, that's a boar. Okay, we are gonna tussle him Mighty quick here. Oh, right. The gun wasn't even loaded. Good. Okay. Done deal. Done deal. Good stuff. Who keeps a freaking wild boar as a pet? Maybe that's just a sign of the difficulty starting to ramp up again. <laughs> it says on the doghouse, beware of dog. I mean, it's a pig dog. It's a big pig dog. Uh, cool. Clear? Clear. Okay. Grab that. Please keep that in my hotbar. Thank you kindly. Okay, and... Womp. Does this refresh too? It does. Bicycle handlebar. Sell for a good amount of coin, actually. Okay, I have brass. Awesome. What can I use brass for? Oh, I have a... Oh! Can you use for ammo casings in the forge? Okay. Um, I guess I did have a lot of it. I just didn't see it in my inventory. Oh, that was alarmingly fast. I could just leave and complete the mission. Beautiful execution. Beautiful execution. Yeah, there was three of you down here last time. I was wondering where the third... The third bloke was gonna show. Okay, I would like to power through this and get to the loot room. Oh, that's not a weapon! Oh my god! I'm right-clicking like a dumbass and I'm like, why... Why you no hit? Because it's not a weapon. Uh, I don't need any of this. I don't know who would keep chrysanthemums in their oven. Same way I don't know why someone would keep... Well, why why someone would keep ammunition in their oven. Okay, drink. Yeah, we're going to eat up real quick here. 
I don't need fat. Fat is for some specific recipes, which I'm not super interested in worrying about. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, before, I don't think you could strike through a door, but now it just seems easy to do. Uh, scrap that. I already have one of those. Cool. And quick Blitzkrieg through this. Blitz, Blitzkrieg? Blitzkrieg. Don't need that. I don't need any of this. Uh, you might have noticed how unoften I'm using steroids now, now that we have proper... Pocket mods. Oh, there you are. Dude, I'm just electrocuting fools left and right. This thing is ridiculous. I really hope they don't balance this item. Uh, I don't need that. Don't need that. Just searching a thing gives you the experience points. Even if you don't pick anything up, if you just search it. You still get the EXPs. Okay, out of stamina. I spend this time to rebuild the door. Yep. Uh, we're gonna retreat. We're gonna we're gonna play this a little smarter than we did last time. And we played it pretty smart last time, but this is a little extra insurance factor. Yep. Okay. If I had to retreat, we had options. Actually, there's something I didn't search. I did. Alright, it is 417 on our day 7. Lots of good stuff. Eat. A double pocket mod. Oof. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. Do I have another... Yeah, can I put this in the hat as well? Nope. One kind of pocket mod. Okay, that's fine. That still is a nice improvement. Um, let's see. Grab all the stuff. Um, what can I junk? Oh, let's eat. Let's eat, eat, eat. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Take. How much are you worth? 16 monies. Scrap you to metal. If I can find something that's not worth 16 monies, I'll pick that back up. The monies are literally just going to scrap into paper. Oh, uh... Ammunition is king. It's the one pocket mod. Uh, 96 and 72. Ah, oh, that's a neat... It's a neat thing, but... Get out of here. Ammo out of here. Cool. Okay. That freed up some space. Freed up enough space. We have the thing. Let's go talk to the trader. Maybe be able to pick up yet another mission before it's super go time. Where's the front door? Search this. Bunch of brass and a bunch of metal. Scrap that. I genuinely don't need the brass. Uh, but it is almost 6,000 brass, so we're going to just hang on to it. Uh, bubba dubba dubba dub. Zoom zoom zoom! I think there's a barrel in the way over here. Nope. We're good. Yeah, once you get to the encumbrance level of, like, 7 or 8, it's very manageable with enough of the pocket mods. The issue that we really had is at the game start is we're encumbered by 15 and 16 and whatever, and it makes everything crazy more difficult. I almost feel bad about the pack mule skill. Because that's a skill that can easily, well, maybe not easily, but it can be just nullified by having the right items. Um, I think it should give carry capacity and something else, maybe. Like, 
minus 2% stamina loss while encumbered or something. Crafting skill bundle, yes. Uh, thank you. Complete. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's sell some stuff. 31 monies for 6 leather? My goodness, that's... Now that we're done fair amount of coin for that. Oh, I didn't repair this pipe shotgun before I scrapped out the pipes. Okay, we have 40,000 monies. If memory serves, we're very close to truck procurement territory. Again, I could be 100% completely wrong, I don't know. But I think we're getting really close. I think, I really think it was 44,000. I don't think you had anything I cared about. I wouldn't mind eventually a shovel, an iron, a decent iron shovel. This is all crap I sold you, I'm sure of it. Uh, S H O V E L spell shovel. 48 forged iron. I think we had 47 forged iron at home, which is slightly infuriating, but whatever, it's fine. Um Yeah, let's slim. Let's slim down a bunch. Sell, 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 sell. Anything else I want to get rid of? Uh, that. All right, now that okay. We're done doing business, uh, let's have another job. Store. Clear zombies, buried supplies, clear zombies, restore power. Make we're not sure doing a restore power. Ah, oh, it's all those. We're not doing a restore power, which is a nighttime only quest, on a day seven. That seems like bad news for everyone involved, especially but not limited to myself. Oh, hey, what you got here? Bunch of brass and crap. Not at full brass yet. Um, may- oh, you know what? Actually, if memory serves, Aldo's cabinets is where we spent our first day seven. It'll be like a defunct little crappy tradition, right? Hey, remember that first time? That first time day seven rolled around, you completely crapped your pants? I do, thanks for the reminder. We're going to the same place again. Damn it. <laughs> I actually died also at Aldo's cabinet. Uh, because I lost my torch. I just... It just poofed out of existence. How did how did that even happen? I don't remember. Oh, I remember. I placed it and it broke. It was landing on something that wasn't stable. And it just was like, well, you're not going to treat me right. I'm out of here. And just fell apart in my, in my hands. It was terrible. Oop. Oh. Not implemented exception. Copy from not implemented yet. It's an error I just got. So what we're going to do is we're going to do due diligence. We're going to quit. And then we're going to reload. Let's see if that... Not implemented yet. Okay, so what it most likely was trying to do was try to draw from a loot table and maybe the loot table has items that are just not implemented and instead of skipping it, it just was like, well... <coughs> fart noises. I don't know. I don't know. I do enough coding and crap for my own day-to-day -day work. I don't, I don't need to debug something else. I'm hoping it's a nil issue. And we're all good. Just get right back to it. This doesn't take super long. I remember before when it was A13 or whatever, it took ages for world gen and ages for loading. Yeah, this might take a hot minute. Oh man, I just got really sleepy. We're near the end of our day. We're near the end of our day. 
15 more minutes, 10 more minutes, something like that. I wonder if it barked. Uh, it doesn't usually take this long. We'll give it, I don't know, two more minutes. And then I'll just shut down the game and reload it. Is the mouse still here? Oh, the clicking's not working either. Usually you can click through some of the, uh... What am I thinking of? You can click through and see the hot tips below. It kind of, if I alt tab, it shows up for a second. Uh, we're gonna give it. I might just alt F for it. Man, I hope my save isn't completely borked. Um, I have had that happen before. Game crash, come back in, load the game, never loads again. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Alt F4 this thing. You're gonna probably see the Mega Cycle logo here in a second. Oh. Okay, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Alright, uh, yeah, it was, uh, A14, I think. I was doing... I was just learning the game still before I was going to do recording or whatever. So I played around, I got to day like nine or something. So it wasn't super far into the game, but it was still like a lot of effort. And uh, yeah, game crashed. I did exactly what I just did now. I waited patiently for like two extra minutes, more than what it normally takes. Came back in and just said, save not recoverable. And so I would load up and say loading game data and then I just sit here forever. I'm really hoping that's not what happened, or this is going to be the end of the season. I'm not, I'm not starting over and redoing it again. I'll wait for A22 or whatever is going to come out next, or seven days to die, two, ten days to die. Yeah, see how the mouse is here, and click through some of the tips. That's how I know it hasn't crashed. Well, it hasn't crashed yet, anyway. Okay, so it stopped at building environment before. Okay, we're good. We're good. We have the bicycle. Let's check the bicycle's inventory. A bunch of things just came in and blipped out, which is neat. Okay, so... It crashes on... Yep. Implemented exception, copy from, not implemented yet. So I bet you any money it hasn't regened. It hasn't regened. So this quest is defunct. Okay, I'm just gonna Alt F4. Yeah, so that even shows that it didn't even save properly on exit, even though I waited a little bit. So, interesting. Okay. So, um, slight detour. We're gonna go back. Oh, I don't, how do I... How do I cancel a quest? I accidentally canceled the quest by starting it and then leaving the mission area or whatever the heck that's called. So that's that's happened before. So now, now my brain's trying to kick it into a little more scientific, right? Is it just this mission? Because we have we have not done we've not done a POI at Aldo's yet. So, is it just Aldo's that's screwed up? Is it POIs from here going forward that are screwed up? Like, wonder, I wonder what's screwed up. But something is, something's definitely bad sauce. Good? So good? Okay, cool. I don't know why, but when I look at this picture, it makes me incredibly sleepy because the log cabin maybe just looks super cozy. The several destroyed cars and the zombies in the front yard don't make me super safe, but, I mean, it just looks really cute. Okay. Still here? Yep. So how, how do I cancel a quest? Remove quest. Okay. It's 7.35. We've got time. We're gonna head back. And now we know, or I guess I don't know. 
I'm based on my observations, I'm inferring that all those is bad. Now another thing that could be a possibility is tier three quests might be bad. Or something. I don't I don't know yet. Uh oh, actually. Um yeah, I could I could re up on top of Aldo's cabinets, but I can't go up the steel ladder we broke. That was kind of the allure of it rebuilding the POI, was I'd be able to do that, but that's okay. So, uh, 750, we have enough time to get a POI refresh and clear it if I'm quick enough. Do you have any jobs? Clear zombies. The NPD 3rd Division. I have not tried the the police department yet. I've not tried to clear that yet. I've been avoiding it because it was a four skull or a three three skull difficulty. I don't remember. Steering with the left hand and petting my cat with the right hand, not able to use the mouse is a little clumsy, but that's okay. Cats are worth it. Oh man. I'm getting to that age where all my stamina just disappears. I got I might be I might I might be riding pretty good. Like all riding ride or die or whatever, like riding pretty good, and then all of a sudden it's just like bro 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 bro. Okay, it's a triple skull. Three power attacks. Frickin' someone is greedy. Uh, let's coffee up. I want to burn through this pretty quickly if I can. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna hit escape. I need to itch my nose. I need to pet my cat. Jax, you are just the prettiest boy. Don't tell the other cats. Okay, so this quest... DPS... Uh, abbreviation for damage per second. I'm, I think I'm done with picking up fetid water. Uh, yeah, just grab it. We'll read stuff later. Just grab it. Just grab it. Uh, I feel someone's gonna be falling out of the ceiling pretty quick here. Oh! Or not at all out of the ceiling. I'm trying to do a fair amount of juking. Uh, move in, move out, move in, move out, move in, move out, like dancing. I'm trying to do a little bit of dancing. I don't want to be in the same spot for more than a second if I don't have to be. Same logic when I mentioned about tearing apart the truck, right? If you're doing something that requires wrench work, don't just stand there. Keep moving. You'll buy yourself precious seconds to ensure that if a zombie is chasing you, They'll have to fight for their meal, right? Hold on. Uh, I don't know what it is. My nose is crazy itchy. All right, there we go. Hi, how you doing? Bonk. Bonk. Yep, that lamp prevented me from moving forward. Good stuff. This is unlocked. Good stuff. Food pile. Good stuff. You can do all the sorting and crap in like a hot second. I just want to motor through this though. Uh, nothing else. Read, read. Eat, drop. Cool. Oh, you're new. Or I haven't fought you this season anyway. Oh boy, there's a cop. There's a cop. You still got acid breath, buddy, or whatever? Whew! Worth a lot of experience. Okay. It is 9.01. Cowboy boots are worth the monies. Okay. Where do I go from here? Locked. Is there a unlocker somewhere? 
Um, what might happen is if I don't feel confident we'll clear this, I'm gonna have to just wall my w silo my way up or whatever. Up onto the roof and just hang tight. I did not see any other way to get in or out. And this door is locked, okay. Am I being too fast? Am I not am I not paying attention where I should pay attention? Oh, there is ammo on the ground. Pretty garbage ammo, but ammo all the same. There's no way to go up. There's no keys on the wall. Okay, is there a side entrance I should be paying attention to? Uh, yeah, just grab it. Okay, somebody broke through there. Yes, this is a side entrance. You're missing a lockpick, that's fine. Okay, this is the other side of this. Wow, three hits, three kills. I can dig on that. It is 9.47. I don't have enough time to complete this. Or start this, actually. So, it's time to go to the roof. Hopefully we can find a better fight up there. Hold on, you have ammunition, do you not? You do, okay, good stuff. Alright, now, the pedantic part is I gotta figure out how to get up here naturally so I can block it. I don't know how someone would get up here organically. Maybe the answer is they don't and I'm really safe. I'm gonna convince myself I'm super safe. Oh, you've had a better day, I'm sure. That is a way up, maybe? We're gonna do this anyway. There could be a whole horde behind me and I have no idea about it. That's what's really terrifying, especially on a day seven. Okay, I don't see any other way anyone could get up here except for that ladder. I think we're accidentally really safe. Pick you up. Oh no! This isn't safe. This isn't safe at all. This is unsafe. This is not ideal for anything. Oh crap. 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 What I'm hoping to do is to stem the tide. The tide will be upon us. It is... Uh, <laughs> I'm panicking slightly. Uh, 45. Craft, thanks. Is this going to stop the horde? No. There's no stopping the horde. Yep, I see them right there. They're already getting all finicky and shit. Cool, got him. Okay, let's do a little bit of work for ourselves. Place. Place. Running in the dark is even more terrifying, so let's do that. This is where I would really love to have two turrets. Because then what I could do is I could drop one, let it go kaplink, 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 and then... With the other one, I'm reloading it actively, right? That's kind of the allure. So I can only control one turret at a time, which is fine. Now let's do this. That. Got him. Oh, 
Oh wait, don't I have a flashlight on this? Yeah, I do. Look at that. Yeah, it's day 14. I don't care if it generates more heat. Can I get rid of these cobwebs? I can't. Cool. They coming from anywhere else? This might have been accidentally a really good move. And I'm going to pat myself on the back before it gets torn out spine-wise. Are these not all crotch shots? What's going on here? Okay, you're trying a different uh, venue? I didn't kill him, right? I don't think I saw the experience points. Oh, damn. He brought some friends. Got him. If this is what it takes and it burns through a little bit of our 9mm reserve, I'm pretty okay with that. This is feeling kind of tame. I don't know if... I don't know what kind of ruckus is being made outside, but this is feeling kind of tame, which I'm pretty happy about. Well, I'm gonna check my character sheet while- oh, I'm button. I'm gonna check my character sheet while I'm waiting. We have one skill point available. Daring adventure requires level 10, better pro Oh, robotics. Oop. Cool. Now, I don't know if I have to pick it up and put it back down for the bonuses to track, or I don't know how that works, but I can at least put a little more ammo in you. Yep, it's not a lot, but it'll help. I was like, am I not getting him now? What's going on? Okay, that's gonna have to wait for next episode. That was day 14 in the books. We got four more hours of our day 7 shenanigans to get through, and I think we'll do okay, but this game has a great way of proving me wrong. So thanks again for joining me, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.